Um, well, overall, uh, the uh, economic injury disaster plan is uh, is uh, the companies would be eligible for up to two million dollar loan from the U.S. government, and this is a direct loan from the SBA. Uh, so no banks are involved. Um, it's an, it, the interest rate is low. It's three point seven five. And the term is 30 years. Um, so the, the repayment is going to be a, a low repayment over a long period of time so that we're not maxing out the credit that the small business may have. Um, but it, it gives them an opportunity uh, to, um, to use it to, uh, to pay fixed debts, to keep payroll going, pay accounts payable and other bills. Uh, that could have been paid had uh, the, this disaster, the coronavirus, had not affected so many businesses. <clears throat> and so, um, you know, who is eligible for this? Well, this is available to small businesses. It could be agricultural cooperatives. It could, and most uh, nonprofit organizations, private nonprofit organizations, are even eligible. Um, so, as long as a business looking at uh, calendar year 2019, calendar year 2018, as long as their net profit was below $5 million, then they would be eligible for this, for this loan. Um, so, they have to be directly affected by the disaster. This is not um, for those companies who may have, you know, the example in our internal training the other day was if you develop the, the pet rock and your sales have dipped because that's just not a thing anymore, this is not to replace that. This is to replace, you know, for example, a restaurant that cannot have eaten the, uh, diners anymore. And there's only carry out. Well, they don't need the staff, their sales are going to get a huge hit uh, because of the virus and the, the restrictions in place. It's for those kinds of businesses. Um, and even businesses that are indirectly. So if you're a supplier to that restaurant who now needs no uh, supplies from you because uh, the demand is a lot lower, well, you're, you're eligible as well because you're indirectly affected by the restrictions that are in place. And so um, it affects service providers, it affects manufacturers, um, it affects just about everybody. And so uh, there are three real things that the SBA is looking at for criteria. Uh, the first one is a credit history. Uh, so you just have to have an acceptable credit history to the SBA. Uh, unfortunately, they did not provide a specific credit score that might be uh, what they're what we're looking at um, but you know it's got to be something decent uh, for the SBA um, and, and you know that can come down the road um, more than the credit score is looked at uh, than just you know beyond the credit score um, repayment SBA you have to be able to to uh, show that you're able to repay this SBA loan. Um, again, though the interest rate is low and it, the term is long, so I mean, the payments should not be very high payments for a business, so I think repayment is not going to be a huge hurdle to jump. Um, and then the business is, has to be physically located in a declared county. Um, so. When Ohio makes the declaration, uh, we are looking at covering every single county in Ohio. Uh, so that should not uh, be uh, a, a huge hurdle as well. Okay. Um, again, the, the loans can be used for payroll, paying debts, um, paying other invoices that need to be paid, um, and even like, you know, rent that kind of thing can be paid so that your business can stay afloat.